everybody. Good evening. Well, first of all, let me say thank you for everybody who is in here. We wanted to celebrate the medical community. Thank you. God bless you. And we're honored to have you here. Thank you. Simone Whitmore, actually. Toya, where's Toya? Over here, but my oh, husband yeah. is right there. He's fine. Oh, she didn't sponsor. She didn't give anything. Oh. She didn't pay y'all. Let me just put it out there. She, she didn't pay. have to. She gave cases of wine. Whoa. Jackie, where's that mug? Just turn the mic off. This is right on point, though. This is about what you expect. When you bring $1,000 worth of wine, you shouldn't have to pay. <laughs> Heavenly, she tried to embarrass my wife, and I didn't like it. Get out, mingle. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was really I know. I'm don't, don't, don't do that. No. Have we paid? Well, uh, my, just, just my I rationale. No issue I know. I ain't got no issue with you either. I just want, don't want this whole crowd full of people to be put out like my wife to some kind of way is just some cheapskate didn't do blah blah blah. Yes, it was the right place. It was the right damn place because that's where it happened. You know. Um, I, I don't really think about, you know, like, that's what Heavenly wanted to say. I'm there, like, I really concentrate on just being there for support. What you said, you said. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And no, but I am a little hot. I am a little hot. I got you. So I came over and talked to you. I appreciate it. I really do. I love you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything good? Yeah, everything's good. Yes, where's your husband at? I'm looking for him. Go find him and tell him. Talk to Jay. There he is. This is how Come over. You don't have to be like that. Come on over here. Hi, Quad. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Do you mind if I give him hug his neck a little? You gotta ask him. Do you mind? No. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's good with you guys? Congratulations again. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, very happy for the both of you. Good, good. Mm -hmm. This one isn't even like a car wreck where you're trying to look to see what happened. You don't want to see what's happening here. I feel worse than Gregory and Quad just watching. Dr. G, let me check you out. You ain't Mr. Staff, okay? I see you. You look nice. Thank you. When they said bye, Felicia, they were talking about this situation right here. Right here. Gregory, you look uncomfortable. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. You been enjoying yourself tonight? I, it's been good. It's been good. Very happy for <laughs> the both of you. All right. Well. I'm not a bitter person. I'm not a person of malice. I literally freed myself of that marriage, and I purged myself of all of those emotions so I can be happy. I felt like I need to give him a, a drink. I don't know what that's about. Not my man, not my problem. Was it weird seeing Quad? Yeah. I could tell you feel a little awkward or whatever. And I don't know how to feel. You know, yeah. it's like, I don't know. It's confusing. I don't want to say that I would want to avoid her, but if I didn't see her again, I could definitely live with it. You know? <laughs> Said to your spouse, I want a divorce. We've, we've had that moment. I'm not going to say it's not an option, because some people probably should come out of their situation. You know, not, no one is perfect, everyone has issues, but I think that's very important, especially for, you know, black families to see that, you know, we can keep the family together for the, you know, for the greater good, especially for our kids. Because that, that's what it's really about at the end of the day. It was only one time in our seven and a half years of marriage that I was serious about filing the papers, and that was at the time that I was pregnant with Amara, 
Kimmel is still expecting me to be in the kitchen cooking up stew chicken while my ankles were swollen. I needed him to step up and help me. For men, we take it very seriously when a woman says, I'm gonna divorce you because what we hear is, you're gonna leave me, you're gonna take my kids, and you're gonna take half of all my money and my property and my possessions. That's what we hear. There's a lot of work to do, and I'm hopping on board to make us better. Yes, I, I listened and I tried to be more of a team player. You're improving. Yeah. My training is going well. You <laughs> see? <laughs>